can't stand the love for reality. I long for the taste of true Jamaica. No tourist apartheid for me. As my dread luck would have it, my third world witch doctor was just around the corner. My number is number one, Bruce Man in Negro. My main man, Juicy, will help me out. Wash my brain, Juicy, with your root tonic water. Make you feel fit in your body and strong and healthy and clean. Juicy, juicy! <laughs> what makes your roots juice so good, man? Well, I send cherry root, Irish marsh, linseed, bloodwit, strong back, and sassy pearl of it, honey, and ice, and nutmeg. And it make you love your girl. Love your girl every time. Uh -huh. Make you feel honey to love her. <laughs> yes, sir. Ooh. But when you have my drinks, man, if you think you have to better. And if you go to the doctor, the doctor can hardly better you. No, 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 no medicine, no pill. But when you drink roots that the good Lord made from the earth, nothing stops that. Your body's clean and Juicy fit. tonic hits the spot. But I need the number one shot. Give me the herb. Poppin' Fresh is an eye talent. He grows his marijuana without chemical fertilizer. He's from the old school, before the chemicals and the DEA helicopters rained death over Jamaican ganja fields. She's turning out to be a beauty, man. Do you believe that the native sativa can be stronger if you don't use fertilizer? Yeah, man, because the fertilizer that they use, the fertilizer is not too good. It just supposed up the ganja and it have no taste. You don't taste right, you know? So the fertilizer is not too good for the ganja. But when you go natural from the natural style, then you get a better, mm -hmm. better smoke from it. If you use even rat bat shit or cow shit or something mm -hmm. like that, it's much, much more stronger. And we spoke of how hard it is to find good herb nowadays. What do you think about the current situation with the zero tolerancy in the U.S.? Do you believe that this has a, a direct effect on the Jamaican economy? Yeah, man, because a lot of people suffer, man, because a lot of people could, uh, could sell a little herb and they could have money and they could do what they want to do and they could send their kids to school and they could do a lot of things which they wish to do. Mm -hmm. But now through the helicopter coming around, they cannot get it no more, so everybody starts to suffer again, separation mm -hmm. again, you know. So they do a lot to Jamaica, man. So we have to free up the herb farm, yeah, man. Free up the marijuana because marijuana is a herb it's not like cocaine or heroin. No, it, it, it is a, a something that's a blessed, can, blessed plant. It's a blessed plant. It can give you a little happiness. We should never have a conversation about drugs that talks about pot and crack in the same paragraph. And we do it all the time. And that just makes no sense. In fact, you know, if we were going to start to have a wish list of drugs we'd want to disappear from the universe and maybe the first one was crack i'm not sure the second one wouldn't be tobacco and in any case whatever you think of that i'm i, I don't see what law enforcement adds except to people's misery this is 100 percent marijuana feel it how soft it is how strong it is you can't break it you can't rip it you can't zip it very nice pump. no you can't smoke it either well you can but one's one doing it <laughs> Please pick up to the literature. Please read the facts. We are banned from buying advertising on radio. We are banned from buying the newspapers. They refuse to let us get this word out because we have 
the M word in our name. This jacket I've got nine years ago in Indonesia. It's made out of marijuana. It's 100% hemp. This jacket's 55% hemp. It's made 55% hemp, 45% cotton. It should be noted that half of all the chemicals used on Earth are used on, on, in agriculture are used on cotton. Hemp has no enemies like bow weevils or, herb, or, or, or weeds, so nothing ever disturbs the earth hemp plant. One acre of pot will equal four acres of trees for cellulose for paper. The only reason we cut down paper is that hemp's illegal. Virtually all paper was made with hemp and hemp and flax rags until about the 1880s. The original Declaration of Independence is across the street, and the Bill of Rights is across the street in the manuscript room. The ones before they put them on parchment animal skin are over there across the street at the Library of Congress, and they're made out of pot. Hemp is the only biomass capable of making the America energy independent. Um, the closest biomass that grows to hemp on Earth is peanut. After peanut is sugar cane, after sugar cane is corn stalks. And all three of them together don't equal 5% of hemp, and they're not sustainable. Hemp has no enemies. It can grow in any soil condition, any weather condition, any, any latitude. It grows in all 50 states. And the only enemy it has is the United States government. What else, what else you got? Well, if you live longer if you smoke pot every day than if you don't do any drugs at all. And you live 8 to 24 years longer than people that regularly imbibe of alcohol and tobacco. The reason you live longer is it dilates your arteries. It opens them up. It lowers your stress level. It allows your body temperature to drop a quarter to a half a degree so you don't metabolize. So any law against marijuana is a law asking another human being to be a lemming for an ignorant congressman and, and senator. There is no absolute reason on earth that anybody should ever have to do Valium or Opium or anything else. Marijuana lowers your stress level, lowers your body temperature, and dilates your arteries better than anything on earth except nitroglycerin. You live longer if you smoke pot, so please smoke pot. Don't smoke tobacco. You know, if you haven't been keeping up with the recent economic conditions in the world, you are more than aware of the dwindling value of the American dollar. Now, Il Banco di Santo Spirito, the bank of the Holy Spirit, offers American people the opportunity to invest their money in our bank, and we convert it into the European concurrency of your choice. If you have at least $1,000 to deposit, and you do it before the first of any quarter, you get to ask these beautiful, beautiful Italian kitty gloves. They come in blue, beige, brown, black, or pearl white. If you do not want the gloves, I know you would want them, but you have the choice. You can also ask for this beautiful 1963-273 edition of the Guide to Patron Saints. It's got a new chapter here with all of the latest changes. To give you just a, a little taste, let me tell you that the Saint Saud of Ankara, the patron saint of hard drugs, is no longer responsible for marijuana. Marijuana is now under Saint Rolando of Marsala, this patron saint of a beer and a wine. I was born in New York, right here at, uh, near St. Vincent's. Uh, I thought when I grew up that people would be reasoning adults, and I found out they weren't. What is to be done when you have people inhabiting the planet and they don't know what to do? Well, I guess you'll have to teach them. That responsibility has fallen to me because there seems nobody else who is doing it. And so I am the Pope. I am self-appointed. I am a little bit righteous. But what is to be done? If nobody speaks to the questions, then who is going to do it? You are responsible. I say in my church that everybody is responsible. We inhabit a planet. What is to be done with it? Should we create the kingdom of heaven? Or shall we make insane uh, greed and stupidity, which in the end will only annihilate us? <laughs>